Hi guys, welcome to Mark's Irish Kitchen, where I do fun friendly recipes that the whole family can enjoy. So today's video is going to be a rotisserie chicken served with a parsnip mash and a spicy tomato chutney. If you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. So sit back, relax and enjoy. Thanks for watching. So we start off with our chicken. Pops cover some olive oil, put some sea salt on it, and just rub it all in. Now we wash our hands and we pop our chicken into the air fryer. I have a rotisserie air fryer, so it's on the rotisserie setting. Just makes the chicken a little bit juicier. But you can do this in a conventional oven if you don't have an air fryer. Again, wash your hands, pop the air fryer on for 50 minutes at 200 degrees, and leave the chicken. Now we're on to our tomato chutney. We add some olive oil to a pan, then we some fresh chopped tomatoes, seeds, and skin, some diced red onion. A spoonful of brown sugar, some crushed garlic, and some balsamic vinegar. We bring this to the boil, then we turn it down and let it simmer for approximately one hour. Then we move on to our parsnip mash. I personally like to steam my parsnips, but you can boil them if you want and let them cook. While they're cooking, let's take our chicken out. Use our thermometer just to check that it's cooked. Anything above 75 degrees centigrade is perfectly cooked. Then we let our chicken rest for about five minutes while we go back to our parsnips. So now that our parsnips are cooked, we take them off, we transfer them into another pan or bowl just to mash them. And while we're mashing them, we add some asparagus to the top of our steamer. Again, cover these, just let them cook two to three minutes for the asparagus. And then we make our parsnip mash. So we add some butter, some milk, and some garlic to a pan. We take our masher and we mash it like it owes you money. Let's get all the lumps out of it, make it nice and smooth. If you have a potato ricer, it does the same job, but I prefer to do it by hand. Cover our parsnips and we go back to our tomato chutney. As you can see, it's thickened, it's nice and tasty, and ready to serve. So we transfer our chutney from the pan into a serving dish. And now let's serve our rotisserie chicken with parsnip mash and a tomato chutney. So I'd like to take my parsnip mash and pop it on a plate. Obviously as a family of four, we serve everything in the middle of the table. Make sure you get all that good creamy parsnip mash, all the goodness out of there. Then we pop on our asparagus. Then we take our fully cooked chicken and just pop it on top of the parsnip mash. 
Don't forget all that goodness that's on the plate. Pour it over. I'll go into the mash and help flavour it. And then we serve it with our tomato chutney. As you can see from the slicing, our chicken is perfectly cooked. Extremely juicy, nice and tender, which our two children under four both love.